Boys, girls, gamers, here we are with the peak of the RPG genre, at least according to PC Gamer. Gerard hey, Butler just hits different. It's a day the world will remember. Very epic, Gerard Butler, the actor. Very epic. Are you sure we can trust this thing? I mean, the book could be just a to tell you. This is like if Ellen DeGeneres and Lily Singh came together to do a late night show. Just the most unfunny combo of all time. Oh yeah, that's how reliving memories works. You know, when you're reliving memories, you have a HUD. This Animus has a loading screen on par with Unity. Ah, let's go! Player autonomy! I've always wanted to choose the historical character that I'm reliving the memories of. Let's fucking go! But I mean, there's only one choice, right? There's only one correct choice. And it's, of course, the queen herself. Cassandra, the fucking, she doesn't have a second name, Mystios Eagle Bear. And now we enter the most gorgeous, the most cinematic, the most beautiful world in all of gaming. The most lively and atmospheric world in all of gaming. Ancient Greece. Featuring big statue with a horse cock. And there she is, the muscular queen herself. Holy shit, it's Assassin's Creed Rogue, the character. Holy shit. Assassin's Creed Rogue, the game, aka the historical character, is here. <laughs> I'll never fucking get over that. Fucking. <laughs> uh. The fuck is up, Assassin's Creed Rogue, the character? No, Cassandra, you've killed Assassin's Creed Rogue, the game. I can't believe it. Oh, look, it's the plot device. I mean, Phoebe, the well developed character. Yeah, no worries. I'll ask Zeus. I'll ask Zeus whilst I'm in Atlantis talking to Pythagoras, you know? I'll ask him to pet. I'll ask him to pass on the message. You know what? Assassin's Creed 2 suit up scene has got nothing on this. You know, when Ezio finally gets the robes of his father and puts them on in one beautiful scene, nah, that doesn't match up to this incredible suit up right now. We are becoming the Mystios right now after putting on uh, this this tunic, which is just a, just a shoulder pad. You wanna talk about parkour? Mirror's Edge simply does not match up to this incredible system. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, boys, how we doing? Oh, fuck. Uh, I, oh, perfect. It's a good thing, you know, time slows down as soon as I dodge without getting any abilities. That's a good way to start. Marcos' wine can wait. I need to see this big old horse cock. Look at all those handholds that Cassandra is definitely grabbing onto. I love how detailed it is. You know, we really take Ubisoft for granted sometimes. It's definitely not just a flat surface with a rock texture put over it. I should probably not climb on this. Uh... Uh, that was a nice cock joke, Cassandra. Very nice. His balls are huge as well. You'd think Zeus would be packing a little bit more, I'm not gonna lie. I guess he's a grower, not a shower. Oh, I just saw I just saw Cassandra's underwear, and I don't know how to feel. To be honest, she might have a bigger horse cock than uh, Zeus did. Oh fuck, I hope I'm not gonna get cancelled for that. You see, a, tr a true RPG worth his salt won't let you die, no matter how many mistakes you make. Syndicate... They, they stopped you from jumping off buildings, you know? That was lazy game design, you know? They just put they just put an invisible wall off every building so you can jump off it. Odyssey? Nah. They have that big brain game design. So they just don't let you die regardless of how far you fall. Is that Jake Gyllenhaal? Marcos is a staunch capitalist. Ah, Cassandra, come on. That's a, that's a negative attitude, you know? That's a negative attitude that won't get you anywhere in life. Again, Cassandra with the negativity. Unbelievable. Maybe it's Cassandra who's the, who's the staunch capitalist here. Marcos clearly has a heart, but Cassandra just wants that sweet, sweet cash. That explains why Cassandra loves wearing suits. She's a fully-fledged venture capitalist pyramid scheme builder. Hmm, I'm sure this choice will have an effect. Especially you. You've chosen the great Phobos. He's never let me down. 
perfect. I'm sure that's a unique choice that no one's ever made before. You know, we're really hit so hard about Odysseys and RPGs. All the choices matter, you know? Like, I just made that choice and I got a completely unique horse that no one else has ever got before. I got Phobos. Like, it truly makes it feel like it's my Odyssey, you know? And on top of that, we have some brilliant mission design. We get to go to a bandit camp to rescue someone. I mean, I, I, mean, I don't think it's ever quite been done this well in any RPG, you know? Like, mission design is on another level. Ah, good thing this man staring right at me didn't see that. Oh! Uh-oh. You're, uh... You're, uh... Mate, you're, uh... You, you, your shorts have come up a little bit. You ain't that thick. And I'm a bit disappointed, you know? Oh, it's Jared Butler, the actor, again. Hello. Good to see you too, civilian. Oh, another civilian wants to say hi? See, this world just feels so alive, you know? Like, the way NPCs actually react to things. It's great. The, the immersion, you know? The NPCs all feel living and also breathing. It's incredible. Alright, how's this guy doing then? He's really just vibing, if we're being honest. He's just having a good time, you know? This is what separates this game from other RPGs. It's no secret that Greece is a living, breathing world. But along with that, the people that occupy that world feel so alive. See, up to this point, Cassandra has been a negative Nancy, you know? She, she, she never believed in Marco, so it only makes sense for her to say it's impossible. But you know what? I, th I think Cassandra's turned over a new leaf in the first 30 minutes of this game. She's a believer now. Oh yeah, the hype music is back. Let's fucking go. It was so epic. She got on a boat. That was incredible. And she's still on the boat. Oh my god. This is so intense. You do a few things for me. Will. Yeah, Marcos is definitely an epic groomer. <laughs> oh, why does she run like a... Oh, she runs like a toddler who shit himself. <laughs> that running animation is off the charts. It's maybe the best animation in any game. Uh oh, is that a is that a big old bounty hunter? I see. What's well, good, my man? I know you're level five, but I'm not gonna lie. I think I think we can work this out. I don't. We don't need to fight. Okay, we got. Come on, man. Like, you're two you're two levels higher than me, which means I definitely won't be able to beat you. But I don't think we have to fight. You know. I think if we speak, if we discuss, you know. We, we, we can work this out amicably. Talos the Stone Fist. Well, I'm sure you do have... I'm, I'm, I'm sure you have a, a, a Stone Fist. I'm sure you have a Stone Cock too. But trust me when I say it. I, I, I don't want to... We don't need to do this, you know? It's okay. Oh. Uh. Well. Uh. Well. That's, um... I'm a man of peace. I'm a pacifist, you know? And Cassandra, as we've seen earlier on, is most certainly a pacifist. I mean, it's one of her defining character traits. She never wants to get in any kind of conflict. Okay. Let's, um, let's try- Oh, fuck, he's back. Oh, come on, Stone Fist. My man, we can- we can work this out. We don't have to- we don't have to fight. Come on, man, I just want to talk. You know, can we not just talk? Can we just have a good old conversation, please? I don't want to have to sit through another loading screen. Ah, well, it's Cassandra's ass again. Okay, I got you. Oh, he's fucking. He's ju he's just wandering around this road, man. We are taking down Talos, the Stonecock. We're doing that right now. I don't care. Okay, you want to fight? We can go. We can go up here to fight. This is my ground. Talos, the Stone Fist. More like Talos the Stone Bitch. It's a good thing we have 40 arrows in this tiny quiver. That was really nice of her to just give us a, all the arrows in the fucking entire map. Come at me, you coward. I may be running away, but if, if anything, you're the coward here. Because you're taking 40 fucking arrows and you're not dying. Now, Assassin's Creed Odyssey's combat, it, it, it's different, but it, it, it's much better than, than any other, not just any other RPG, any other open world game. Because you see, the key to Odyssey's combat, the key that Ubisoft Quebec got so right, is that, you know, they took out variety because they realized that 
no no one find no one enjoys variety right variety is not very epic do you know what is epic hitting someone 152 times with the same move that's a true way to make a game not only engaging not only difficult but also fun fun e epic not infuriating and not like a massive time waste 40 40 arrows to the head Talos the stone is he made of fucking stone what the fuck what the fuck you bizarre <laughs> oh why have I decided to play this oh, I'm gonna fucking kill myself okay thank lord I think Talos is gone I think he's given up I think he's realized that Cassandra the eagle bearer has the pet oh oh no no, he's, he's he's back. I only have 37 arrows. He took 40 last time. I'm an assassin. Watch, I'll blend with the crowd like a true assassin would. I'll, I'll, I'll fuck. Okay, we're gonna do it. I, I, please. Another addition to the combat system that makes it really engaging and also epic is the random arbitrary numbers that are flying off Talos the Stone Fist as I beat him to death slowly with 50 arrows. This is one of the most intense fights of all time. A battle for the ages, truly. This will go down in the history books. Homer will write of this. The Iliad? Who needs the Iliad when you have the Eagle Bearer versus the Stone Fist? I definitely dodged that, you whore. I'll use this guy's protection. Human shield. I have two arrows left. Come on. Oh my god! We did it! We did it! Oh, I think I deserve, I think, oh, oh, that was the most, that was the longest boss fight of all time, and possibly the best, the best designed, so immersive, oh my fucking god, 25 minutes later, 25 minutes later, we took down Talos the Stone Fist, by way of 80 arrows directed at the head, we did it, it was, it was a true battle of wit, it was a battle of strength, it was a battle of willpower. Mostly willpower. I want to kill myself. Ding 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 ding. Ding 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 ding. Ding ding ding. Ding ding ding. Hashtag like an assassin. I must say. The way this game really makes you think when you're engaging in the movement system, getting from A to B, it's beautiful. It doesn't just make you push the left analog stick down for 500 meters. It doesn't do that, you know? It, it, it simply doesn't because the thing is, you also have to press A. I just, I can't think of any game that quite matches up to that. Your wood should arrive in town soon. Hey, I've got some wood for you, Drew Killer. I brought you some wood back to work with until the rest arrives. Yeah. <laughs> one, one twig. <laughs> one twig. I think it's time to massacre the entire town. She was kind of rude, so like, as as much as you know, she's got wood to make bows. I don't want her to have any customers. Oh my! Oh my! I have found you, gamer. Don't you run from me, little gamer. You are not fast enough. Ah, now this. This gentleman, this gentleman's a prime example of a, a of an in-depth NPC. Um, is this is this woman just invincible? Ah, I, I don't think she is. The hero Cassandra is here to kill you all, everyone who sniffed the air that day in Sami. This feels really in character with Cassandra. You know, the character I've built up so far. She isn't a husk. She's a real character, guys. Trust me. Why the fuck is Ezio's family playing in the menu screen? I'm... Oh... Ho... 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 Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. Got it. Pull this off and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. Um, no. No, I think... I think... I think they will. I think he'll... I think he'll brutally murder both of us. For stealing his most prized possession, I think he will come with all of his men and destroy us. Physically destroy us, annihilate us, crush us into the ground and never let us get up.
But Ayo, let's give it a try. After all, Cassandra is a sneaky old assassin. I mean, Mystios. Or, hear me out, hear me out. Or, we could fuck stealth and go in with the boys and raid that shit. Hello. Uh. I'm, I'm, I'm not even here. I'm a ghost. I'm a blade in the crowd. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not even here. Nobody here. Blade in the crowd. Mystios in the crowd. Epic stealth. No detections. No detections. No one's here. I don't know what you're talking about. Nothing has happened. We're good. Flawless stealth, as always. It's still the first hour and these, these bitches have fucking hundreds of thousands of fucking health. Or at least these arbitrary numbers that fly off of them. It's time to go epic stealth mode. Cassandra, put your fucking hood up. We're in stealth mode. Come on. You know guys, Odyssey's actually much better than you thought. No stealth, we're going with the boys and raid that shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh my fucking god. Why am I so bad? Then you're just the mysterious I'm looking for. Good thing I happened to come to your house then. I have an unspent ability point? No! Cassandra, why didn't you tell me? Oh, I have a bunch. Oh, yes. It's time to become a true epic Spartan warrior. There we go. Uh, that's a... That's a really cool... That's, that, that, that's a really cool dialogue option right there. That... Uh, that just sums it up, really. That's... This is a this is a true a truly great RPG, not a not a stupid baby Assassin's Creed game for stupid kids who just like epic hoods. Ah, uh, why, why? <laughs> Man looks like sloth from the Goonies. No. I love that this is one of like five actually mocap cutscenes in the entire game. Damn, I feel bad for the Cyclops. He's an outcast because he has a deformity. And and everyone's just bullied him for it. I don't think it's very fair. What do you mean? When they forced my head underwater, I prayed to the gods. And when they pulled it out, there you were. You're right. I am the answer to your prayers. I'm a fucking god. Treat me like one. Get on your knees, bitch. See, I could fast travel. But where's the fun in that? When you can pick up epic trees and get some olive wood. Wait. Oh, fuck off. Wait for me, Cassandra. I'm all packed and everything. Get away, you disgusting plot device. Cassandra's really leaving this child with a pedophile. Mother gave her to me. But Probably not a great idea. See you later, Cassandra! plot device. Oh, and it's the pedophile. It's not quite hugging Leonardo, is it? But why not? Oh, no. Uh -oh. oh, no. I don't trust him. Let's go. We've done it. Ladies and gentlemen, with that, we have finished Assassin's Creed Odyssey. We have completed everything this game holds. We have stuffed an eye up a, up a, up a goat's ass. We climbed on a penis. We left a child with a pedophile. Let's go. No, no, there isn't. It's, it's over. Stop. It, it's the end of the game. There is no more. We're done. It's over. Goodbye. No, never again. Never. No, don't make me fucking play this ever again. Thank fuck. It's over. It's over. It's done. We're, we're, we're done. We're done.